everyone and welcome back to Vlogween. So, welcome to today's video where I will be doing this Victorian vampire uh, makeup look and costume tutorial. So, if you want to see how I got this makeup look and where I got my costume from as well and how I put all of this look together, then keep on watching. Alright, so first up I'm going to do my eye makeup and uh, to do that I'm going to start off with uh, concealing my eyes with uh, a concealer which is from NARS and this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. Okay, so after I have put uh, the concealer on my eyelids, I'm then going to do my eyebrows and I'm going to use a darker shade for my eyebrows. I'm not going to use my normal um, eyebrow palette that I normally use uh, for everyday makeup. So I'm going to be using this one from uh, Shein, from the Shein makeup range and uh, it is the Deep Feelings palette and the colour that I'm using is a black colour and it's called Abyss. Um, you don't have to use this um, like palette, you can just use any black um, eyeshadow that you have. This is just the one that I used. Um, we just really want our eyeshadows to be darker, not eyeshadows, our <laughs> eyebrows to be darker than normal. Um, so that's why I use the black eyeshadow instead of my normal brown um, like palette, like eyebrow palette that I would use on an everyday basis. Okay, so once the eyebrows are done, we are going to be going back into the um, Deep Feelings palette and use that same shade and um, we are going to be putting that on our eyelids for the first um, like eyeshadow colour that we'll be using for this look. Um, so we are going to be putting it on our eyelid, but it's not going to be all over the eyelid. So we are going to be leaving the inner corner of our um, eyes um, blank so we can use a different um, shade but this is going to be the, like the primary shade that we'll be using for the other half of our eyelid so as you can see here I'm just kind of like putting it on um, the other half of my eyelid and like on the edge as well um, on like the outer corner of my eye um, and just leaving the uh, inner corner uh, blank so we can use a different uh, shade. Okay, so now for the inner corner section of our eyelid, for the eyeshadow that we are using, we are going to be going into that palette once again um, and using the shade Silver Fox, which is a glittery, super glittery, like silver shade. Um, once again, you don't have to use this um, exact shade, but if you have any other silver eyeshadow, um, like glitt glittery silver eyeshadow, then that would be perfect for this look. Um, but yeah, this is just the one that I used. And um, yeah, so we'll be putting that in the inner corners of our eyes. And then um, after that, we'll be blending everything out and um, like blending it around the edges so that it has like a nice um, soft look about it.
Okay, so now for uh, foundation. So the foundation I'm using is from Makeup Revolution and it is the Conceal and Glow foundation and it is in the shade F1 and um, basically with this you just kind of want to put as much on as possible so you look really pale. So basically, you know, we're vampires so uh, or we're going to be vampires so um, we want our skin looking very pale so you might need to do a couple of coats of foundation to look as pale as possible so I think I did like two maybe um like coats of foundation um just to get rid of the redness and just to look like really dead I guess so that's the main goal that we're going for um so yeah that is basically what I did I just put it on a couple of times and um made sure that I looked super pale Okay, so now on to concealer and I'm using that same NARS concealer that I used on my eyelids. Um, basically just putting this on any like imperfections that I have and like under my eyes as well. Um, just the normal places where you'd put um, concealer is where I am uh, putting this for uh, this look. Okay, so to set this makeup into place, the powder that I'm using is the Too Faced Born This Way powder um, in the shade Cream Puff. So once that powder is done, um, I then went back into uh, my eyeshadow palette to just touch up on my eye makeup um, and to also um, put the eyeshadow on the like bottom half of my eyes. Um, so you can see me doing that here with the black one and then I go in with the silver eyeshadow um, and then put it like on my lower like lash line I guess um, and then I also just blend it out again to make the edges look a bit more smoother. Okay, so now it is time for uh, your hair, to do your hair. So um, for my hair for this tutorial, I kind of just did like a half up, half down, like type of situation um, as you can see here so I had a bit of a uh, struggle doing it because I had washed my hair the night before so my hair was really like soft so it kept on like um, falling out but that's kind of the look that we're going for you kind of want it to be um, like naturally messy if that makes sense um, so you don't want it to be like perfect looking um, so it's okay if like bits are falling out like all over the place so um because yeah we want it to look naturally messy so that's kind of like the vibe I was going for with this um hairstyle All right, so then I put on my jewelry for this costume. Um, so the jewelry that I'm wearing are these like, um, well for my earrings, I'm wearing these um, bat earrings, uh, which I think are super cute and perfect for this look for like a vampire costume. They're from Shein. Um, and I also wore a matching necklace. It had the same like pendant on the necklace that was on the earrings and basically everything that you're seeing me wearing in this costume is from Shein. So everything is from Shein. Um, so yeah, even like some of the makeup is from Shein as well. Um, and there you go. There's the matching necklace. And I don't know. I just thought it was like the perfect look um, for or like the perfect like jewelry look for this costume. It just went perfectly with it and um, yeah I just really liked the way that it looked. Alright and then it's finally time for lipstick. So the lipstick I'm using again is from Shein from their She Glam range and this lipstick is perfect for a vampire um, like costume. It is such a perfect blood red colour. The name of it is Cosmopolitan if you're looking for it on the website. It is perfect. It's a matte lipstick, um, which is even better because then you don't have to worry about it like 
getting everywhere, you know? Um, so yeah, I just loved this lipstick so much and thought it was perfect for like a vampire costume because of the shade of red like it looks like blood it's just so good um so i did have to put it on a couple of times to make it kind of really like a deep blood red but um i just oh, i love this lipstick so much it's perfect for this look All right, and now it is time to get into the fun part, the fake blood. <laughs> so I had two different types of fake blood. I had gel blood and then I had this other fake blood which was more thin than the gel blood. The gel blood was more thick. So um, I wanted to put two lines of fake blood coming down from the corners of my mouth. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to look neat or tidy. You kind of want it to be a bit messy looking, just like kind of you've looked like you've just, I don't know, bitten someone, I guess. So you can go as messy as you want. Um, so yeah, I had this, um, like makeup brush, this old makeup brush that I used to put it on. Um, so I used both, um, types of fake blood. So you'll see me here using the first fake blood, which is the more thin one. It's not the gel one. Um, so yeah, I just kind of like made, I guess an outline, I don't know, of like the fake blood, um, but then I go back in later to make it a little bit more thicker and I use the gel blood as well and you just kind of want to like go crazy with it I guess. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, you can go as thick as you want, as thin as you want, um, so yeah, just go wild I guess with this fake blood because like I said, it doesn't have to look perfect. Alright, so here I am um, just putting more of the gel blood on it um, just to make it look a bit, a bit more like three-dimensional, I guess. So with the gel blood, I just used like a Q-tip to put it on. Um, and yeah, here you can see I've got it on both sides of my mouth. And um, yeah, I just, I don't know, I really wanted to make it look really just, I don't know, like really kind of like neat messy if that makes sense I don't know but I didn't want to go too crazy <laughs> um but you can go as crazy as you want this is just the way that I wanted it to look all right so now it is time for the fangs oh my gosh you guys these fangs were really like annoying to put together I'm not gonna lie um so I did it the day before and thank god I did because it took a while to do so um I did it the day before or like I molded them the day before this I did this tutorial um so uh as you can see here I'm struggling getting the uh molding powder stuff open and I finally did it um so uh I got these fangs from the costume box and um, I think the company is called Scarecrow. I don't know. That's just what I used. I used like the classic fangs. Um, so yeah, I then put this like liquid stuff in with the powder, um, the mold powder. Um, so it could then be mixed together into a type of like toothpaste consistency. Um, so that's kind of like what you're going for. So here we are mixing it together. Um, and yeah, this was like a real struggle. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> these fangs. So I had to do my left fang twice um, because the first time I did it, it was just not going right. So I had to do it a second time. Um, so uh, that was a bit annoying, but um, yeah, it got there I, in the end. I got there in the end. Um, so that was good. <laughs> um, but yeah, so here I am just mixing it together. And then after that, you put the mold on like the side of the fangs so you'll see me doing it here in a second I'm putting I'm using this wooden stick that um, comes with the kit you get the mold stuff and you put it on the side of the fangs um, so you then can like mold it into the tooth so and you'll see me doing that uh, in a little bit as well
Okay, and then here I am <laughs> uh, holding my tooth uh, and I had to uh, wait for five minutes for it to be molded. Um, so I literally sat there for like five minutes because I was using my phone as a timer, like the recording time as a timer. So I just had to sit there for five minutes and you have to tilt your head back um, as you're holding your uh, fang against your tooth um, so you don't dr uh, drool um, so and let me tell you I drooled a lot <laughs> that's why I had to do it a second time because um, the drool was just going everywhere the first time so I had to wait a whole five minutes and then after that you have to wait 15 minutes um, after like you um, like wait for the five minutes like after you mold it um you have to wait for another 15 minutes um just so that it is staying in place i guess i don't know why you have to do that but that's what it says in the instructions that you have to wait another 15 minutes after those five minutes so basically it takes 20 minutes for each fang which is really annoying it takes up so much time so i'm so glad i did this the day before and not on the day of filming because that just would have set back my filming um so yeah here we are i'm just waiting like forever it's like the longest five minutes of my life and just like trying not to drool everywhere it's kind of funny but um yeah so there we go that is how you make these vampire fangs it's very annoying and very time consuming but it looks good in the end <laughs> All right, so now that that is done, I can put these uh, fangs back in. I was a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, yeah, so as you can see, I was like, oh god, I hope that these like fit and that they work. So thankfully the right fang worked, um, so that was all good. Um, the left fang, it was a little bit loose. Um, so you'll see here, I struggle a bit with the left fang just because I think the size of my tooth that I molded it on on the left side was just like a different like size than my right one so it was just all weird so but I got there in the end I managed to fit it on and I managed to get both of them like on uh, in the end which was good but yeah I just struggled with this left one it just was not working out for me but eventually I got there <laughs> Okay, and now for the costume. So for this costume, as you can see, I have a skirt, but I wanted to make it bigger. So I got a petticoat, which is from the costume box, but unfortunately I couldn't use it because the um, petty skirt uh, or the petticoat, sorry, was like way too big. And you'll see me here in a, real, in a minute. I realized that it is way too big. <laughs> like it fit me um, like around the waist and stuff, but the bottom of the skirt of the petticoat was way too big um, so that was annoying but if you have a bigger skirt then this will work. I just wanted it to look like a really um, puffy than it already is and not really flowy but unfortunately the petticoat was way too big. Okay, so for the final step, we are putting on our mascara. Um, so the mascara that I use is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, and yeah, that is the final step for this costume. And then we are all done. Alright guys, so here is a final look at the costume. Once again, everything is from Shein. Um, the top, the skirt, the jewellery is from Shein. Um, so yeah, here is uh, a final look of my makeup as well with the fangs, of course. I think the fangs are just perfect for this look. It just pulls it all together. Um, and here is a close-up of the fangs and the makeup. And yeah, I just love it. I think it looks so good. Very like Victorian, which is like the type of vibe I was going for. And um, yeah, so if you guys liked this uh, costume tutorial let me know in the comments below and what are you guys being for Halloween this year I thought I was gonna be this for Halloween but now I'm not too sure um, but if you guys have any suggestions then let me know but thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it make sure to uh, give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and I'll see you all again for a vlogoween video all right bye guys